Leave it to your kids to tell you that you smell kind of musty. So now I know why people that need deodorant are walking around stinking. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is 5 o'clock in the morning, and I'm going to get up to do my hair. My hair looks atrocious. But before I get started on my hair, I'm going to take my collagen. Um, the liquid one is what was breaking up my skin, so I went back to the powder, which is higher quality. Because I'm whispering because everyone's sleeping. But I'm going to take a scoop of this. I made a shake last night just so I was ready to do my hair this morning. And since I knew I was going to get up early, I didn't want to disturb anyone sleeping. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I see a lot of people that are watching my videos are not actually subscribed, so please subscribe. Let's go and do my hair. I'm actually have, I'm gonna relax my hair, and then I think I'm gonna run up to the mall a little bit later. I just wanna go get some like tank tops, cause I don't really have any besides black and white ones. I wouldn't mind getting like a couple oversized t-shirts too. I'm just gonna go to Urban Planet, cause it's a cheap like five bucks, five, ten dollars for tank tops and t-shirts there, but I'm gonna go hop in the bathroom and get started on my hair. So a few weeks ago, I uh, relaxed my hair, I touched it up, cause my nape and my edges grow really quick, like they get really coarse, very coarse, and taking the collagen, like they just get, I don't know, just whatever. I got burned so bad because I was rushing. I didn't prep my hair. I washed my hair like four days before. Uh, so I have not washed my hair in about seven days. I have not brushed my hair in like three days. So today I'm gonna be using Vaseline to prep my hairline. And I'm gonna go in with my conditioner. Sorry if the angle's off, but I don't have like my proper setup because it's really early. This is an impromptu uh, video. I wasn't planning on filming today. Oh, and I found this. I got this Willa um, hair dye from Cosmoprof, and this was around $15 there. I found this at Sally's the other day. It's $39 at Sally's, which is crazy. It's, I'm gonna actually also dye my hair today because this is just a conditioner, so I'm gonna wash out the relaxer, do like my whole step system with leaving the clarifying shampoo on three times, five minutes each time. And then before I condition, I'm gonna go in with my hair dye. I'm just gonna part my hair, detangle it, and then apply my relaxer. And for relaxers, I'm gonna be using my Silk Elements relaxer. And I uh, blow dried my hair last week after I washed it, just to stretch out my roots. And if you're wondering how long I stretch my relaxer, I stretch my relaxers for around six weeks because my hair grows really fast and my hair is very coarse. And that is what works best for my hair texture. Do not brush your relaxers. Make sure you're mentally in the mood to do it so you're not rushing and you can rinse it out properly and it can be a good experience. Not a painful one, you're not burning yourself. And I know like some people, um, they apply the relaxer to their nape and their crown first. I'm gonna do my crown, but I'm not gonna do my nape until I'm, before I smooth through my hair. That's what I'm gonna do my nape. Just so it takes, cause I find like lately it hasn't been taking very well.
I'm all done my hair. I'm just gonna let this sit for like another five minutes and then I'm gonna rinse it out. I'm debating if I wanna just rinse it out in the sink or if I wanna go get in the shower because I am planning on deep conditioning my hair today. It's not burning at all. I started at my crown, worked my way down and then I smoothed it through and I applied the relaxer to my nape and my edges before I smoothed it through. This is how my hair is looking. I'm done with the first wash, so I'm gonna let the uh, neutralizing shampoo just kind of sit on my head for about five minutes before I do this three more times. Sorry, two more times, three times total. I'm done rinsing out the relaxer. I'm just gonna go hop in the shower just to condition my hair. I've decided I'm not going to dye my hair today and I'm just gonna condition my hair in the shower because I'm already over this process. And again, I don't wanna rush it. I want it to be good. So what I'm gonna do is I have neutralizing shampoo. I did one final like I'll let this sit for probably five or 10 minutes and then I'm gonna hop in the shower and deep condition my hair just in the shower for probably 10 minutes. And then I'll get out and I'll add my hair products. And then I will sit underneath my hooded dryer for till my hair dries. And then later on this week, I will apply the hair So dye. I'm back from uh, the mall. I just picked up a couple things. This is how my hair looks after I let it dry for a few hours under inside it's still a bit damp but other than that it is dried it feels really soft very moisturized i went and i got um this deodorant from walmart why is deodorant like ten dollars i don't now i know why people that need deodorant are walking around stinking because they need to choose between hygiene products and food and rent and all the above. Like this is bullshit. The native deodorants at Shoppers Drug Mart were $25, I think, which is $25 for deodorant. And then the regular deodorants at Shoppers were, I think they were 12 bucks. So I went down to Walmart. This was seven at Walmart. It was on sale for seven too. Um, so I got that. My Botox is starting to kind of wear off a bit because I work out on a regular basis and leave it to your kids to tell you that you smell kind of musty. So I picked up an antiperspirant deodorant. Usually I just wear a natural deodorant without any antiperspirant because the Botox stops me from sweating. But again, it's wearing off now and I'm a little smelly. I remember when I was younger, my dad would always be like instilled in my brain, you cannot be a pretty girl that smells. It is not a flex, it's gross and he was always on me about like hygiene and making sure I showered daily basis. I also picked up this towel for an Italian Simone's bathroom. Yes, they do have their own bathrooms and I picked up a nice blue towel to go with their uh, decor in their bathroom. And then from Urban Planet, I got just these black cargo shorts. These were $8. And then I picked up this really cute dress. I'm gonna use this for golf. It has shorts underneath, it's tight fitting. It's very cute, it's only, 
It was only 20 bucks, but it was I thought it was going to be 10 because they're having like a big sale on right now. But this is part of the newer collection, so it was $20. But I'm just going to go make us um, some lunch and then I'll be back in a bit. Oh, and then I'm going to go to the gym, so I'll be back in a little bit. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease me. She just wanna dance and tease me. Listen, you've been missing since 2016. Squid tell me one fix. You know that's my sister. When she speak, I listen. She swears you're my missing. I say we think different. I'm back home from the gym. I'm just going to hop in the shower and uh, get ready because there's a jazz festival just across the street from my house. So we're going to head over there in a little bit. I think we're going to order some dinner and then go over to the jazz festival. I'm just going to apply a little bit of the Bond Repair Oil to my hair before... Oh, shit. I was supposed to get a shower cap from... Walmart and I forgot. No, I didn't forget. They were sold out. I need a shower cap. It's a few days later. I'm trying to quickly get ready to go to the gym. This is how my hair is looking. It is so soft. Honestly, letting that neutralizing shampoo sit on your hair for five minutes for like three or four times just between each rinse will make the biggest difference. It makes your hair so soft and it doesn't feel stripped it's not hard when i do not do those steps and let that neutralizing shampoo sit on my hair and i'm in a rush again and i'm trying to just hurry up and get my relaxer done and over with my hair is just hard and i'll have to wash it after probably like two or three days but again my hair is super soft and this is just me um, letting my hair air like dry underneath the hooded dryer. I did not apply any direct heat to my hair. I'm just getting back from a walk, but like I said, I'm getting ready to go to the gym, so I'm just gonna apply some of my L'Oreal Bond Repair Hair Serum before I go. I'm just gonna put my hair up in a bun and a large scrunchie. And I ended up going down to a different Walmart and I did pick up two shower caps and I picked up some makeup remover wipes. I have not used the Equate ones before, but I don't, I kind of stopped wearing makeup a few years ago. After I started working from home in 2020 and I don't know, just my skin texture changing, I just kind of stopped putting on, doing like a heavy beat makeup. It's just really minimalistic, my makeup nowadays. I picked up the makeup remover wipes for the times when I do want to do a full beat. And I also really like this Bioderma uh, micellar water. So I'm trying to finish getting ready and then I will see you guys at the gym.
just gonna start prepping dinner. Uh, Wes is going away for the week. I didn't know that until like an hour ago. Uh, but I'm gonna make some sweet potato steaks and I'm gonna do like cauliflower crusted Parmesan. So I'm gonna cook the sweet potato and the cauliflower first before I start the steaks because I just cook the steaks. I sear them on the stove and then I put them in the oven to finish cooking them and they're perfect every time. So I'm just gonna peel this and then I wanna do like I need to look up a recipe, but you know when you put like, well, I don't want to do brown sugar on it because brown sugar really breaks on my skin, but I'm going to do agave and just some salt, pepper, and keep it super simple. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to cut up this sweet potato and then I'm going to put it in the oven on 300, like pretty low and just let it cook for until it's tender. I bought these cutting boards like a really long time ago and I forgot about them. So I'm gonna just use one of these. I don't know why there's always like that super sticky crap they use on everything. It's so annoying. What I made for dinner, I did cauliflower and I uh, seasoned it with the Kinder's seasoning from Costco, salt, pepper, and freshly grated Parmesan cheese and a bit of oil and butter. And then I made some sweet potatoes and I added hot honey, salt, pepper to those. And then I just made uh, two steaks. I like my steak medium well, so that's how this steak is cooked. I don't want a lot of steak though, so I'm just gonna eat like half of that one, half of the big one. And I'm gonna have some sweet potatoes. And that's my dinner. So like I said, my husband's gone away for the week, so this is just dinner for myself. My kids won't eat this. There's, we have like leftover Indian from last night, which they'll eat, so. Anyways, I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye. I'm done in the shower. Um, I'm going to blow dry my hair and I'm going to apply Olaplex number nine and the heat protectant, the oil, the number seven. I really don't like microfiber towels. I find they don't absorb as much water as a t-shirt does. So like I said, I'm just gonna dry my hair and then tonight I am going to put some curls in my hair and then I'm gonna use one of those little, I don't even know what they are, 
I think they're called like a curl former or something like that, just to set my hair. I'm just gonna speed up this. I'm just gonna detangle my hair with a wet brush. And then I'm gonna use this brush I picked up from Sally's a few weeks ago to stretch out my hair and blow it dry. I've decided to also add a little bit of my Chi Iron Guard just for a bit more heat protectant. My hair is pretty dry. It's not 100%, probably like 95% dried. It's too hot out to be sitting here blow drying my hair. It's like 37 degrees outside. I'm going to just let my hair kind of air dry for the rest of the day. And then when I curl my hair, it'll be uh, completely dried. So I will see you guys shortly when I finish off the video. It is the next day. I didn't go golfing this morning so I'm just gonna go to the banquet tonight the golf banquet um, this is my hair uh, it's completely dried I'm gonna add a little bit more heat protection to each section and I'm gonna use these uh, prong clips to set my curls along with these crop clips and then when I'm all done and I take out the curls out of the clips I'm gonna just set them with uh, one of these things, I think it's called a curl former. Former. I've noticed the last few times I've just had my hair air dry and then I curl it. I don't like the way the curls turn out and these tend to leave like little dents because they have little ridges in them. They leave little dents in my hair. So I'm gonna just maybe curl smaller sections uh, today. I'm gonna use this one inch, one and a half, one and a quarter, whatever this is. Uh, curling iron and I'm going to turn this first I'm going to plug it in and I'm going to turn it up to um like maybe 330 because I am going to be curling my hair in smaller sections so the heat doesn't need to be as hot I'm just going to make sure my parts are nice and clean so I'm going to use the bottom of this comb one of these little thingies on it. I do like to set my curls with these little clips and I'm gonna be working in small sections, probably about that thick. looking um i'm going to just set my curls for a few hours but no it turned out good i think my hair gets indented from the grooves in this is when i leave these on for too long like if i leave them on for a few hours because i don't seem to have any now and i have not curled my hair properly since i've had it cut so I'm actually very happy with the way this looks. So I'm just gonna 
do this. Go evenly down the back of my head. Wrap my hair around this. And I'm gonna twist the sections pretty big because I want bouncy, loose curls. I don't want them too tight. I just put a claw clip on while I do the other side. Sometimes I like push the hair up just so it stays curled at the bottom and then I fold in and then I twist it one last time. I'll take out this side holding this side and then I put a large scrunchie on just to make sure both sides stay tighter like that. And I'm going to put on a scarf. And then I'm just gonna put on a bonnet. And then I will see you guys later on when I'm getting ready. My makeup is all done. I'm just gonna take my hair out before I get dressed. I have some like cute clips somewhere. I may like clip up some of my hair or something. I don't know if I want to wear this top from Zara with this little skirt, or if I want to wear this white dress. I don't know. I think the white dress may be a little bit too formal for where I'm going. So I think, I think I'll just wear this. I'm just gonna wear this with uh, some white uh, sandals. That's what I'm gonna do. I have this blue bag, so I'll just take the straps off of this blue bag and wear this. I'm all ready to go. I phoned my cousin and she told me just to wear what I have on. So I'm just gonna wear this outfit and I'm gonna wear these sandals because she said the clear sandals look a little bit too formal. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It means so much to me. And I will see you guys next week in my next video. Bye. Wait. So what can I say to you? But I'm off day, had to fall back. You got everybody thinking I'm all bad. You know the truth. I was always holding you.